started slapping their cheeks there trying to wake up and get into this game. And um, hopefully we'll see a, come, a comeback here. Yeah, I think you finishing that statement with trying to wake up was pretty was pretty vital to me not being like, what the fuck are you talking about, Pat? Yeah. Um, yeah, they've got their nails dug in, you know, and they're they've got some big fingernails too. Like they haven't clipped them in weeks. It would seem they're just they're hanging on against like you know gale winds, and it's just I don't know. I don't know how that you said like twenty thousand gold lead or something. I mean that's crazy, and uh, and they're still doing it. So yeah, and I mean these last few exchanges have been pretty even. So oh, and we got Pandemonium now making the same mistake that the Legion was earlier. Had that uh, complex that he's perfectly fine out here in enemy territory, when they have no real vision on where this Legion team is. So uh, maybe we're seeing a reversal of roles here. Yeah, that would be cool. That would make for an interesting game because it's been very one-sided so far. Yeah, and I I think it has been mostly because the Legion's been kind of playing out in the open there, you know, they've been playing away from each other, pretty much like right from when you said in the beginning there, you know, they go in and die one at a time. And I, I've seen it in countless games before to where, you know, one person goes down and you're desperately trying to go help them, and Magma's coming in here, he uses, uh, does he have a portal key? Yes, he does. He That's how he got in there. Dr. Repulsor going to jet out of here. He has the Curse of the Ground. Pharaoh denying the mummy on the Hellborn <laughs> side and running out that way. Not. Yeah, that's one way to do it. Go. Yeah, that's that's one way to do it. <laughs> Which Slayer going to go down now? And, um, well, I guess it was a one for two, but uh, that seems to be the story here recently, as I guess, you know, the the Legion team keeps losing these support uh, and uh, initiators in exchange for some of the more serious players on the uh, Hellborn side. So we'll, we'll have to see how that uh, pl pans out here for them. Um, kind of something, <clears throat> side note here. While this is going on, Flint's been farming uh, the top lane, and now these ancients, and he's, he's, oh, I don't know, I don't really like the Whispering Helm pickup, but, uh... That's like old school Dota to me, I always remember that yeah, being really. the, the, the typical, you know, sniper pickup to make him have the survivability was yeah. the issue there, because then you go one-on-one -on -one versus sniper, and you're kind of screwed, because <laughs> you just leech yeah. up everything that you're doing to him, unless you can stun lock him. Well, old school Dota was always one on one in every situation, anyway. So yeah, pretty well. Not much of a team aspect there. Uh, Engineer gonna go down here. For, uh, maybe not. <laughs> he might take someone with him at least, as uh, he does go ahead and go down here. And Pharaoh t capturing himself in the box, eating all of the uh, the gun there to go along with it. So, uh, hmm. X fins uh, Pharaoh here that they've got. Uh, I can't even pronounce. You can boo. You can boo. I guess. I'm still just a little surprised at his Pharaoh play. Uh, of course, you know, again, these guys are all way better players than I am. Uh, who am I to criticize? But uh, I think that he's just having a little bit of an off game here uh, on this Pharaoh. Yeah, well, he, you know, that was a good turnaround right there. And um... Yeah, it turned out good for him. But, you know, he did in exchange eat all of the, you know, the turret. And I think there was a strong likelihood that he was going to go down there if, you know, if, if Magnus had gone ahead and stunned out onto him instead of just out of the box in general. But mm. it was just, I, I don't know. Uh, uh, he does seem to, it, it just, to me, and I, it's probably, the viewers are probably going to be saying, what, the, what the hell are you talking about, Minoxen? But uh, I don't know. He seems like he seems to be going I'm out of his surprised. way to try and uh, use the, the wall of mummies and get that, that pro mummies off. Yeah. Well, you know, you want to side with the Pharaoh and you get people unsubscribing, so that's your choice. Yeah. <laughs> now we've got a. Uh, We've got uh, Pharaoh getting, I don't even know what's going on, Panda with a weird cannonball, and Pharaoh. Oh, Pharaoh popping the ultimate to save himself there. Nice use of the ultimate. Pharaoh's back in my good graces, as he did use the ultimate there to stun both Pandemonium and Magnus. You know, Pandemonium and Magnus playing out here on their own. They decided they were going to pick up an easy Pharaoh and got caught for it, but now they've got the teammates here to sh uh, back him up as uh, they do go ahead and take down Dr. Repulsor. And um, they, the Legion team better get back out of here because this is not looking too good. Oh, they're going to catch Demented Shaman here. I don't think he's making it out. No, he's not. And, uh, yep, that Flint Beast would making all the difference here. And I don't even know why Arachna pulled into there when she could have probably made it back into the base by now. But Arachna, yeah, is he going to get out of here? I don't know. Yes, he is. 
Very nice. Did he eat the Flint Beastwood ultimate with that Carapace? Oh, he did. Wow. I guess since it is uh, magic damage, I guess magic armor, doesn't it? Just just magic armor. It's not magic immunity. And it removes debuffs, right? Right, yeah, on, upon activation. Yeah, it gives 35 magic armor. So he survived the Flint Beastwood ultimate just thanks to throwing up the Hardened Carapace. So very nice use of the Hardened Carapace there to uh, dodge that. And you see... Um a spectator of this game commenting on Hani's turret usage, and it has been, he's had amazing turrets during fights in the laning phase and everything. Yeah, he has been. He's been pulling off some uh, really nice ones there. I mean, even just... It, just that, that turret is so crazy for farming, too. Just to throw it down, and basically you've got a, almost a free wave there. Just plink each creep once, and you're pretty much done. Yeah. I had the Pharaoh ultimate, but I didn't... Oh, he had a creep. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, I, I never did finish any with items, uh, so I better do that. I've, I've been touching on them as they've been using them, but we have the... Uh, <laughs> did you see the uh, keg come out from Engineer Middle there? He's just having a little fun, I guess. Porting himself around with it. Yeah, apparently. But um, uh, we've got uh, Nullstone picked up on him along with Ghost Marchers, and he has had the Blood Chalice that he's had for a good long while. Portal key, of course, on Panda, like we mentioned earlier, and Legion's gonna be running into this Magnus from Pandemonium. Oh, Arachna coming out with her own uh, Geometer's Bane, it looks like, but unfortunately, a lot of it gets torn through there really quickly. Pandemonium gonna go down. Magnus gets his ultimate off, does a lot of damage to Witch Slayer there, but not enough as he goes ahead and backs out. They're gonna catch Magnus now. Got Demented Shaman and Pharaoh taking him on, and uh, looks like <laughs> Arachna just ran back to, uh, wow, to the lane there. I don't know. Wow, I missed someone dying there, I think. Oh, wow, a beautiful oh, wow. ultimate coming out from Pharaoh there. Oh, and nice use of the tablet of command to jet himself out. Very nice coming from Doodoo Jester there. Using the tablet of command to jet out, and his striders are going to be kicking in pretty soon, so he might have a chance of getting out of here. Yes, he is. Uh, Tormented Soul is going to interrupt him, but it's uh, a little too late. Unfortunately, they're not going to be able to catch him. But uh, Voodoo Jester, speaking of that, the next person in line, Voodoo Jester does have a Void Talisman, which might be part of the reason that he survived that last fight. I didn't see him pop it or not, but uh, <clears throat> we see this. Uh, wow, look at the experience differential here now. We're at 6,600 and uh, gold dif difference down to 15,000. So making a pretty big uh, comeback here so far on this as you know, we are kind of starting to see a little bit of a reversal here. You know, I think... Oh, I can't even remember when all this stuff started to happen, but I know that uh, a lot of these, you know, you, you start to see a couple of them trying to go out for an easy kill, and um, they just end up having backup there that you got to watch out for, so. Yeah, um, it's, I don't know. I did, Not really what, sure what the source of the comeback is, it's just. But they're, they're hanging in, and it's, it's really cool to see. I'm glad that this game didn't end 26 minutes ago, you know? I think the last one that we casted, people were turtling from like 20 minutes in. Yeah, onwards. and that, that is something that's really impressive here is that, you know, the Legion has managed to keep themselves out onto the map. You know, right after I'd just gotten done saying earlier, I noticed, I didn't cover back on it again, that they didn't have any wards out. And, you know, the, you'd said that, uh, what was it? I believe it was Witch Slayer had wards, and Witch Slayer now sitting on three wards again. Um... You know, but uh, they did go ahead and get some wards out, and they did get some map control back. They got some vision out, so they know where it's where it's coming from now. So, oh, we have Arachna getting spotted by the Ward of Revelation. A nicely placed Ward of Revelation there. As I'm, who are they trying to catch with that Ward of Revelation? Do you think? Huh? Um, that's that's a ward spot. Oh, okay, it was just a oh, okay. Blah. Yeah, I should know that. Yeah, just a counter ward. But actually working pretty nicely there to have spotted that Arachna who is heading towards bottom. And we have, oh wow, we've got the uh, Hellborn going for a Congor here. Oh, and they are spotted by the Tormented Soul. Congor dangerously low now. Do they go ahead and back up or try and go ahead and finish him off? They are going to go ahead and finish him off. Oh, but not before Pharaoh Jet's in there to try and snipe it at the last second. Did Flint grab it? Flint did manage to grab it. And oh, now Pharaoh's going to go down. Arachna's in a really bad position. She's going to go down as well. Oh, that was just horrible for the uh, the Legion team here, as that could have went very well, but unfortunately went very poorly, as, uh, you know, Flint did manage to go ahead and grab that, and basically they uh, made that critical mistake of each one of them going in and each one of them dying, so... Well, that Engineer ultimate played a huge part in that. that yeah. That, 
skill is just one of the many reasons he's almost always banned in competitive games because he, it's it's just so nice, especially with the the meta game being focused more on ranged heroes, you know, and yeah. so they just sit inside and come on, come on in, you know, water's mm-hmm. warm and uh, <laughs> the water's not warm, okay, it's not. It's actually it's a lie. It's like it's like boiling, <laughs> yeah. but you're like it's a lobster, so you don't you don't realize it until it's too late. <laughs> Oh, I, I think they have very agonizing deaths, and I don't want to talk about that. So. Yeah, but man, we've got... Uh, yep, I think that this is, might actually be the GG finally here, as they do go ahead and take down the middle here. I think that the Legion pulled out you know, a, a lot more of a game out of this one than what we thought they were going to, as you know, it, they, they did manage to come back quite a bit, but unfortunately I think that Congor almost nearly genocide was kind of a, a really big nail in the coffin here as they lose the middle Raxes and the last tower there. So, and Flint's still sitting on his token, and they've ex- increased their lead back up to a 15,000 experience lead and a 20,000 gold lead, so uh, do, you, do you really have a lot of hope here for this um, Legion team still yet, Joel? Or? I just, I want to say, Hani threw a keg out. He said, look at me, after the Feral Rocket hit. And he walked into the vision where the Feral Rocket, the, the Feral Rocket had made, and he said, look at me, he throws a keg out. He tried to blink in front of it and get pushed by it, and he failed and uh, got called out. Anyways, hope for the Legion team. It's not looking like it, but you know they well, they uh, <laughs> they're still in here. You know, after what happened early game. So yeah, true. I mean, but yeah, that's just a pretty big deficit to try and overcome. Is that middle? I mean, experience and gold is one thing, but when you have a, a creep wave that's pushing itself in automatically, and wow, yeah. we're gonna see them getting picked off one at a time here again. As we've got a uh, who is that top pushing? Yeah, Rockna. Well, nope, she's back in base or something now. Where'd she go? Is the ruin still up oh. there? Yeah, she's in the. She's like on the oh, side. Oh, I see her. Yeah, I see her now. My bad. Yeah. Uh, so. Mm. I need to ask you a question. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So it might be might be coming towards the end here. It looks like the. Uh, Another fight where Magnus didn't get his ult off that time. Pharaoh and his infinite, infamous wall. Yeah, I, I think he went out the right way, but got pushed back into that engineer ultimate. Hmm. Yeah, I. It, ooh, the void talisman. Ooh, coming. the void talisman being used there. Nice, an engineer trying to help him out by taking out the spider, but the oh, and now Doctor Pulse is going to go down. So Voodoo uh, playing his part in uh, delaying the inevitable there and allowed Engineer to pick up a kill for it. Yeah, the, the uh, Hani, this, the, one of the spectators commenting on this, Hani killed the, uh, oh, Witch Slayer, yeah, nothing to talk about there, Witch Slayer just <laughs> drops instantly, but Hani killed um, whoever it was, Repulsor, I think, as uh, the bullet was in flight, and so that's what they were talking about. But Oh, uh, I see. The headshot. Anyway, um, yeah, it's it's. I think, I think it's over right here. It looks like yeah, it. they've got probably. four down. So there was a call to concede, I thought, but maybe not. But uh, they might go ahead and be stubborn and wait for all the towers to go down here. But yeah, I really don't see uh, the Legion coming out here. So I guess in, in retrospect, what? What really do you think that the Legion, since you're you're kind of my uh, my expert here, what 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 do you think that the Legion really did wrong in this? And um, I, I guess it was kind of a trade-off there. What they were doing wrong, the Hellborn ended up doing wrong, and then I guess the Hellborn just came back into it. So I don't know, but what do you think? Uh, this is you know obviously like. And I know it's, it's always a pickle to tell you to criticize some of these pro players who are, you know, yeah. obviously both of our idols, you know, because these guys are above and beyond probably the skills that we have, you know, oh, yeah. and, and you being much, uh, much more skilled than I am even, but uh, <laughs> Flint there, wow, he was uh, yeah. an ultra cocky and he paid for it, but. Look at Engineer and Magnus, ah, oh, Engineer move, they were both hiding on the cliff down there, I guess being. Oh, I see. Oh, they're going <laughs> to set up some fun here in a second. I think um, it the momentum just swayed early game, and and a few um, few people, basically everyone but Phaser and Repulse. Oh, here we go! Wow, they played right into that one. <laughs> yep, Very they'll nice. never see it coming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, Dr. Oh, Bulbasaur, wow. is he going to take him down? Yes, he does go ahead and 